How do you make energy sexy again and why should it be sexy? Well, I think that energy needs to be sexy because it's about our impact on the planet, how we're supporting climate change. The energy industries in the past has really been about commodity. I don't really care unless the lights go off or something else like that. We have to change that. We have to change the narrative with our customers and with the uh, employees and everybody else to actually talk about what are we doing um, around supporting climate change and making a planet a better place, creating a better tomorrow, if you like. What does Ian do concerning the digitalization and the upcoming disruption? So we do a huge amount around digital. We have a program that we have underway in Eon, which is, uh, which is great. We're engaging right across the organization. Everything from using AI to manage our wind farms, to uh, using machine learning in our grids, to do uh, better asset maintenance and predictive maintenance, to creating whole new businesses with data. So how do we help our customers save energy? Can we give them data and information and services back uh, that make them become more engaged with saving energy, consuming energy in a, in a, in a, in a way that uh, helps from a, a climate change perspective. So we're really about um, helping our customers and actually in bringing and infusing uh, digital data, AI software into our business to become uh, a new, en to support the new energy world and a, a real drive towards the electric future. And how does the customer react to all this change? So I think the customers at the moment, we've got to engage more with our customers to actually help them um, have a reason why energy is important and why consumption and, and the way that they consume energy uh, is important. At the moment, I think we don't have as much engagement with our customers that we need. And therefore, I think the work that we do really helps uh, take that forward. And what would you say are the topics that have to be talked about now? And you said something about the Ds. What are they? So we talk about uh, democratization of energy, decentralization of energy, digitization of energy, um, which I think are all facets around the change and the move to an electric world. Um, as we see things like e-mobility, as we see more um, generation at the edges um, of the grids, um, this is something that uh, will drive this democratization, this decentralization of our energy world. And I think it's something that we should be supporting and driving that change and enabling ourselves to um, be able to compete, to be able to provide amazing propositions and services to our customers in that new world. So change why? Change why? So. Um, the reason that we have to change, I believe, and in my heart that's one of the reasons why working in energy is sexy, is, is that it's about actually how do we uh, change our impact on the planet. We know that actually this two degrees um, climate change uh, target is going to be incredibly difficult to uh, achieve. So we need to work across the industry with regulators, with governments to make a meaningful change to be able to facilitate us achieving those targets and energy companies need to be part of that. That's what's so exciting. That's why the change is so important. Where are we heading to in the energy economy? Where are we heading to in the energy economy? Um, I mean, it's a, great, uh, it's a great question. I think energy companies will, at their hearts, become more data-driven. Um, they will use digital to be able to engage with their customers in a very meaningful way, um, and that will help drive this transition. What uh, has to be done now, and what would maybe be your advice as well to other people working in this economy? So I, my advice is let's really engage around making energy sexy again for our customers, for our employees um, and start building out really strong propositions for customers that bring together renewable technology with smart grids, with data and AI so that they can visualize how they're using energy, how they're saving energy and how they can actually make meaningful changes in their consumption of energy to, uh, to make this uh, future energy world really become a reality. So it's really about that. It's about let's, let's create a better tomorrow. And what do you think about this event? Uh, is it sexy? I think it is sexy actually. I think that uh, in the past we haven't done enough to make our conferences a bit more exciting um, and a bit more sexy if you like. This is, this is quite a funky uh, event and therefore I think that that's good because it, it, it brings more people in. I think we need to have more talent coming into energy 
Um, of course, there's talent within our businesses at the moment as well, but um, we also want to attract other people. We want people that come in with uh, experience in doing AI. There's a lot of places that those people can work, so we need to make this really an attractive industry. And actually, people really engage with this, uh, this narrative around uh, making a difference for the world. Um, and so that's why it's important that our events also reflect that.